Okay. Thank you. No Hey, Lord. Wow. There's some water. Maybe look for water here. Oh, what a small. How much you have here? Can I pay with the interact? Uh, 25 cents short. Okay. okay. Actually, do you know what? I'll, I'll pay you cash. Right. It's like an interesting store you have here. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, do you have one? Yeah. I'd be appreciated. Good. Thanks very much. All right, thank you. Uh, cool. Interesting. Worth it. I need a bit of bottle of water. Fancy water. You don't want to walk in there and. Can you hear me? Interesting grocery store, small one. Was that called it the grocery store side store? Outside, like local. It's good. Yeah, it's pretty packed. And it smelled really good in there too. I had to buy a bottle of water. There's another one here. But it's mm, Asian grocery. It's closed this one. I don't know if they're closed for good or it's got metal grills on it, I guess. Uh, yeah, looks like it's open. Who knows? I mean, it's closed currently, but it looks like it's open on a regular basis, maybe not as late, but it's... So yeah, this water in a grocery store is about $2.80, $2.50. So this guy's, you know, for convenience, you got 50 cents more. And if you do a Costco run and you get like a 15 bottle at a time, and you're dropping, uh, I think it's about a dollar something, dollar 85 a bottle. Anyway, so it's definitely more expensive than Coca-Cola. These houses are with a balcony style. I like them. It's a pretty good area actually for doing street photos. We have one hand camera, one hand bottle of water. Free shopping, yeah. yeah, getting information. Buying, selling. Wow, those row houses up there are cool too. Oh, we're approaching, this will be Dundas. Get the camera set up. Those row houses kind of look cool. All right, bunch of shots there. Would it be nice to have the bus coming in? Let's go with the bus. No, because the bus blocks the whole place. Damn idea. Yeah, this is a dumb idea to buy this water. So carrying it. I got to pull over and put it in my backpack. See, that's why you need a backpack. Don't like to carry anything in my hands because it impedes you camera handling movements. You can't touch the camera, you can't do this. I don't even know if we're recording this, but who cares? These are interesting, huge back front yards. Some of them look like they turn them into gardens. Interesting area, Dundas and Dufferin. Look at that. Oh yeah, these are definitely changing area they're not going to stay like this even these buildings are going to go they're not tall enough three stories not going to happen thanks everybody for joining me in this walk here in the city tuesday evening we're going to go to dufferin mall 
check it out, do a walkthrough quickly. I'm uh, walking to the subway and I decided to kind of sneak here and see what we can film. Here we go. Oh. The escalator is not moving. Let's walk past the security. Oh. Cool. No frills. Yeah. I think uh, I have a video. Actually, it's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty popular. Where I come here and buy lemons. I just remember it. It keeps getting views, and it's just not one of my favorite videos. But what I notice is they're closing. Um, what I notice is the videos that I like, it never gets any views. And the videos that I'm not crazy about, they get a lot of views. Let's go hands-free. Jewelry stuff. I'd say it's about 8 o'clock, so it's not Dollarama in the basement. I would say it's kind of not a um, uh, perfect time for shopping, so the mall's pretty quiet. Huge Tim Hortons. I used to work for this mall at some point, photographing their advertising and the promo and stuff for a while, because in the early 90s, the mall didn't have a very good reputation, and then we were hired to clean it up and make it look good and get a recycling program going into the sale for one sale for sushi always a good idea to get fresh sushi yeah. I guess this is the food court the usual suspects opening soon this guy A W K F C Mancho Walk, Jimmy the Greek, Thai Express, Subway, the usual suspects. Canada weather gear. It's a pretty cool mall actually. It's got like I don't know why it's cool. I just said that. I saw some guy at uh, Dufferin and Bloor station. He had to set up a little camp outside and it was selling random stuff. And some of his random stuff were uh, sunglasses, pretty fancy sunglasses. I don't know what they were, but they looked very super gaudy, you know, gold and big, big lenses and all that. I don't know where he got them from or whatever, but he was like, he was smoking, chilling, playing music and having a sale going on, on the sidewalk, which I, I quite like actually. I like uh, independent businesses on the side of the street. On the restore. <laughs> At some point. Zigzagging through the small to get out quickly. Summer clothes. This year's summer fashions with a Coca-Cola t-shirt. They're already 50% off for the pre-summer summer sale. Rings and dings and bracelets, fancy stuff, sunglasses, telephones. What do you need? We got everything. We got everything. Lots of these kind of jewelry places. Tons of them. Yeah, more jewelry places there. Best Buy. I think that's where they have their Christmas tree. Yeah, they have the Christmas tree here. 
like a big Christmas castle. They used to anyway. That's why you used to come and photograph the setups Walmart. I didn't realize there was a Walmart here. I mean, I knew about it, but never, when you think of Walmart, never think of this one. I'm not a big fan of the one on uh, Stockyard, St. Clair and area, Stock. That, that, that one is a little bit disturbed. It was always before, it was always kind of messy and like, they always seem to have like, not enough items and missing and stuff. It's not one of my favorite ones. The one's by Sherway. It's a bit further to drive, but pretty empty display. Kind of weird. What is this, H&M? Hmm. Well, maybe I try this one out sometime too. So there's an exit there. No, exit's here, right? Yeah, exit's here. We go to Winners over there and a couple more shops. Spice. Pretzels. Smells like oily food right now. Smells like kind of burnt oil. Yeah. That you trained to salivate to. Toys R Us, and that'll be the exit. Quick one. My previous walk in this mall, I went to buy some uh, lemons. <laughs> I wonder what the price of the lemons were compared to now. It was like about a year ago. Toys R Us, and a bunch of this stuff. You, you can ride your, uh, this is just like the, what they had at the Carnation, this kind of rides at Queen's Park. All right. That store is definitely closed though. You have these things. And then we're out of here. Thanks for coming along for this walk. I'm walking from Dufferin to the subway, from Princess Gate to the subway. So I try to do segments and photos and that kind of stuff. So we entered over there and we're over here now. We do a look back. Blocking traffic again, crossing the street. How's that? Am I filming? Dufferin Mall. I can use this as a thumbnail. Oh, you know what? We're right at the construction up there. Let's go to the construction site and see if we can film it at night. I'm gonna fast forward, fast speed motion us to the, to over there. Let's go. This guy even got graffiti in his car. Wow. All right, here we are. This is the site of the corner of a Bloor and Dufferin construction. I did a film here during daylight, but uh, here it is at nighttime. Anyway, thanks for checking this quick film out here, Dufferin Mall in Toronto. We'll catch you in the next film.